Hi, I'm Father Anthony Hannon from Invian Patches, and this is To Prepare His Way. Today I'd like to talk about two pseudo-arguments, that is, not real arguments, but they present themselves as though they are, that are very prevalent these days, just so we can keep on our lookout for them in our relentless pursuit of the truth, and so we don't get deceived. So the first one is called Appeal to Authority. So that's where someone says we should listen to this person because of their position, because of their education, perhaps because of their reputation. You know, uh, listen to the experts. Listen to them. They are health officials. They are doctors. They are priests. They are bishops. They are um, teachers, you know. They are uh, experts in their field, you know, and... Uh, Maybe even, you know, listen to the news, eh? They would never lead us astray. They're a reliable news source. And it's funny how a lot of times these uh, mainstream media news sources like CNN or Fox or in Canada, the CBC or Global, it's funny how often they get uh, experts on to talk to so that uh, people will believe them. <laughs> anyway, these are all examples of appeal to authority. Why doesn't this uh, work? Well, first of all, it's not a real argument. It's just saying believe on trust, right? It's all on trust. And uh, we have many examples that uh, we, can, we could draw upon to show that this, uh, this just is not a reliable way of, of doing things. Not that it shouldn't carry any weight, but it's not a real argument. So for example, uh, back in the 60s and before that, when television came out and they had uh, advertisements, um, often there would be a doctor on a television commercial who would say, uh, I am a doctor, you should trust me, this brand of cigarettes is the healthiest for you. <laughs> uh, right, well, you know, maybe they uh, didn't know any better, maybe they were lying, God knows the truth on that, but uh, whatever the case, we know now that they were wrong. Eh? Trust the authorities doesn't work. Or think of uh, the bishops who, who, after a priest who did some terrible things, went off to treatment, came back and he reassigned them, said, why did you reassign that priest? Well, because the, uh, the experts said that he is rehabilitated and he will not reoffend. Well, that hasn't always worked out very well, has it? <laughs> okay. Um, it's an appeal to credentials. The flip side of that would be to dis dismiss someone because of lack of credentials. And uh, that would be in the category of ad hominem to the man or, or to the person. And what it means is that uh, someone is trying to refute a position by saying we shouldn't listen to that person because they're not educated or because they have some character defect or because they've lied before or something like that. Now, you know, maybe those things need to be, you know, carry a little bit of weight too, but they're not actually engaging in the arguments. And, you know, my life experience has told me that sometimes the wisest things come out of those who are not formally educated, and sometimes the most foolish things come out of those who are supposed experts with great credentials and uh, all sorts of letters at the end of their name. So... Um, Let's see, what would be an example of this, just so that you can see how this does not um, carry any weight at all. Say uh, someone is trying to talk about virtue, how to become a virtuous man, a virtuous person, and, uh, or, or maybe they're, they're teaching, and uh, they're quoting St. Thomas Aquinas. Now, there's a difference between appeal to authority, in other words, just, just agree with it, just accept it, because... A saint said it or something like that there's a difference with that between that and giving credit where credit is due okay so um, while the truth does belong to all of us we ought to uh, at least give credit where credit is due um, so anyway so someone is presenting this from the words of st. Thomas Aquinas and someone listening says I heard that Aquinas was overweight um, seems to me he had a problem with virtue. Therefore, 
I'm not listening to anything Aquinas says on virtue. Obviously, that doesn't work either. Okay, so uh, keep your eye out for these things, because only the truth sets us free. And don't fall for these weak, lazy, pseudo-arguments. May Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.